parenting plays a major role in overall human personality development. In fact, parenting is an ongoing job because all aspects of child development are based on it. Parenting is not a role, it is a relationship. However, sometimes it starts becoming toxic due to frequently used expressions and comments by parents. Some common examples are given below with their immense impact on young minds. 1. Why are you not like your brother or sister? This is the most common sentence being used as an unhealthy comparison in every other home. As human beings, we all are different and unique. Being compared to others is the worst feeling in the world and creates jealousy among children. Siblings should be given the equal chance to express their own independent identities. 2. Why cannot you speak slash walk slash behave normally? Such sensitive and sarcastic remarks cause emotional damage that also lefts permanent scars. Overcritical behavior creates self-doubt in a child that becomes a permanent part of personality. Even if such sentences are not intended to cause pain but can leave deep scars on memory for at least some period, particularly when they come from loved ones such as parents. 3. You are too skinny slash fat slash short. Due to such personal attacking remarks, most of the time parents turn out to be the reason for low self-esteem in their children. It leads them towards a sense of insecurity. There are certain things in which a child cannot do anything but such statements on regular basis hurt them extremely instead. The child starts more faking and hides things from their parents. 4. Why do you just have 80% in exams? There is no bad to expecting something from a child, but this approach should be realistic. Every parent wants good about children but unrealistic expectations place a lot of pressure on children. Parents in such situations always overlook their child's efforts. Although children try their best to fulfill these expectations if they are not successful, it may lead them to guilt and depression. 5. I told you not to walk slash run that fast. Such acts come under the category of excessive control and constant manipulation. In such cases, parents want to regulate every decision and action of their child and leave no choice for them. They do not bother how a child feels about this thing. It takes the individuality of a child and always makes them confused in taking the decisions of their life later on. 6. I achieved a lot in your age. We all have our own circumstances under which we behave and grow. However, when parents start comparing them badly with everyone around and even with themselves, it frustrates the child. Frustration is the root of anger. Not every child is so expressive and may become depressed as well. Parents should give them appreciation to grow instead of judgment. 7. You'll be a doctor just like me. It becomes more toxic and absolute controlling when parents dictate what profession a child will adopt. Our life depends on our career and parents consider it as their right to take this biggest decision. They start manipulating their child accordingly and use emotional blackmailing as a tactic to impose their decisions. Parents should allow and encourage their children to do things independently instead. 8. Why are you hiding your diary from me? We all need some personal space and privacy in our life especially when are growing up. Nevertheless, if there is constant involvement in a child's life, he or she will start lying and hiding things. Some parents disregard their child's boundaries. Parents think if it is in love and care but it may create discomfort and make relationship distant with parents. 9. Using offensive words and statements. You're stupid, useless, you're a zero. Or you'll never do it. Absolute remarks like these will undermine a child's self-confidence. It is important for parents to be a source of encouragement. 10. Making threats of leaving. I'll leave you, set you aside. You'll wake up and you'll never see me again. I'll just disappear. These sentences will cause the child to have abandonment issues, growing paranoid that people they love will leave them because of who they are. When the child matures, this idea will be subconsciously rooted in their minds. They will not be able to trust their future relationships because of the fear of being abandoned. 11. 
making empty promises. If you do this, I'll buy you this. Or I'll take you there next time. When parents make promises they don't keep, this breaks the child's trust. It makes the child feel cheated. False promises teach a child not to trust other people, even when they should. The most precious inheritance that parents can give their children is their own happiness. We've all heard the sticks and stones philosophy, but the truth is words can be very hurtful, mentally and emotionally, especially to a child. Childhood is an essential chapter of every person's life. In childhood, we build our personalities, our behavior, and our trust. Have you experienced any of these forms of abuse?